Sagittarius. This is your Tarot Forecast for November 2016. And, you know, the month starts out here with a female around you that seems to be very happy, as if she has now concluded something she's been working for. There's a celebration, but I don't really think it is her birthday, um, just because she shows up here as a different sign than what November is all about. But listen, uh, there's a conclusion of a long journey, something she has really thrown herself into. She's taken it step by step and has been advancing to a point where she's feeling she's coming to um, the ability now to, to f turn a page and get into some new chapters. I see you being really happy for this woman. She so deserves whatever it is now that she is receiving. And I feel it's people around her celebrating what it is now she is achieving. And for you, this is a month where I see that you're chipping away yourself here at the things that you love, love, love to do. There is energy, there's desire, there's motivation and joy in the um, act of pursuing what it is you desire. And I think that that is exactly the keyword that is so important to many of you Sagittarians out there that you engage in that in which you do desire because that is no longer just work. It is a labor of love. When you bring that joy into what it is you do, that is when you're going to find success. If we're just hammering down a routine, that really just wears us thin in the long run, right? So pay attention to those things that you can bring up, you know, and uh, take to the next dimension here and watch how it is going to motivate you. Uh, I think that is the clue and what it is all about. I see you finding that inner fire that really makes you roll and tick. And I can see how these new levels of consciousness is expanding. Now, I am aware that a few of you Sagittarians have been working a little bit hard on getting to this point to, to find that flow because so many of you are in transformation especially when it comes maybe to your financial situation, but not when it comes to your visual uh, manifestation. So I'm thinking this could be a month that can bring things to awareness. Now there is a female, I feel it could be a sister or a family member uh, here that's going to come to you with some questions, some insight. Uh, and I think definitely it's something that she's holding close to heart and maybe she's been pondering upon this for some time and uh, she feels you're the one that can give her that insight or that sense of conviction in uh, matters of heart that she has been oh i won't say worrying about but contemplating is probably the best word so i see you getting in there and you're going to have some very deep nice communications philosophically i feel too there could be uh, that um, being a part of it. Now, what is it you're thinking here as far as, I'd like to call it a side business, but it doesn't need to be it. It could just be a hobby that you might be cultivating. But when I bring in the business side of it, it is because I'm seeing that whatever this hobby might be, I'm seeing a financial potential. So you might be mulling over that and discussing it perhaps too with somebody and I don't think that is a stupid idea because in fact there is you have the extra additional time to take whatever that that business idea or should I say that hobby idea and turn it to a business concept uh, pay attention to what you're thinking as you go to sleep or also pay attention to your dreams because that is where I'm seeing there is a significant key showing up here that can actually give you some insight to take it perhaps that one step further. And uh, extra money coming in, I think, could be a good thing here for uh, a few of you Sagittarians because it does feel like something could be improved and you might even get some help doing this whatever this is um so it, it's exciting but it's all about your daily routine and how to use your daily schedule to make a little room for this 
But Sagittarius, you are such a person with so many things, so many balls in the air, uh, very creative in that sense. And uh, there is a male right now that you could also be collaborating some thoughts with. Um, he seems to be somebody you could partner up with, or maybe he is your partner. He's very down to earth. He's grounded. He's practical. Um, really good at getting things up and off the ground as far as manifestation of his thoughts. So the two of you together here, you could make a great team, uh, one helping the other. And uh, I see that he can be very supportive of what it is that you are wanting to do. As far as relationships this month, Sagittarius, uh, it seems to be a nice flow. Uh, there is great balance. So there is new things coming into the picture that you and your partner can be discussing. And for those of you single, well, don't sit home here this month. There is some social activities uh, coming up, some events, should I rather say. And uh, that could be a good stage, maybe, for you to uh, be able to meet up with somebody new. There is a deeper decision, I feel, between you and your partner that you may be looking into, discussing, uh, doing the pro and cons for whatever this decision might be for you individually. And uh, it is time, I think, that... For the two of you to actually embark upon this issue, it looks like you might have been discussing this here in the past as well. And uh, sometimes that is exactly what a process is. It starts somewhere and then it evolves over time. Not all things are decided at the spur of the moment, right? So it's one of those times where you're going to be revisiting uh, this whatever a situation or issue or decision again and it, it, as opposed to last time it looks like you might just now have taken it that one step further that can actually uh, create the big difference okay to that turning point looking into work uh, for this month in november uh, there is some commitment some new commitments coming in indicating new beginnings so it could be an extra, perhaps, project that is going to be in mention. Now, I'm seeing movement to Sagittarius for whatever that means. Could be some short distance travel to and fro. We're not talking necessarily long distance travel, but a little busyness where there's a lot of coming and going, that kind of thing. As we're moving towards the end of November, a happy birthday, Sagittarius. Listen. We are then, at this point here, having you looking into a situation with a male that's going to come to you. He has had challenges, some difficulties, trying to get something through. And I'm seeing two to three uh, attempts that has failed for him. And uh, he's going to come to you, see if you can troubleshoot it, give him some good ideas, um, it's as if this person really trusts you and your foresight, your vision. Um, and uh, together, I'm feeling that you are going to get something up and going for him. It's more like you're going to say, well, why don't you try to do it this way, right? So together, it looks like you are getting the, mm, this ganga deal together here. And he is very appreciative for the help that you are supporting him with. As we come to a close of the month, though, financial balance. Now, this has something to do also with vehicle, which can indicate a couple of things, uh, whether an, a little adjustment is needed, a little tweak, an oil change, that kind of thing, or purchasing winter tires for those of you living up in, in the north in the snow. But it could also just be looking at, in fact, uh, new car payments or any car payments and that kind of thing here towards the end of the month and looking over your financial situation for it. So in the overall here for you, Sagittarius, not too bad of a month, I think. And uh, so I wish you a wonderful November and happy holidays there. And now I'll take you over to the news that I have here for you. So have a good one, everyone. See you in December. Hey guys, just want to welcome you to class. I have a tarot course set up for you, ready to fly here November 1st. 
So listen, if you are interested in really knowing what makes the Tarot tick, you will get insights from 40 years of me doing the cards and teach you not just the ground level for you who might be new to the Tarot, but even for those of you who have been working with the cards for some time, I can give you a whole lot of extra insights and how you can advance your readings and give really super accurate readings here. And that is tips from having worked professionally from 1990 on the phone every single day, right? So listen, if you're interested, you could just visit my website. When you come to November 1st, you will get a, a full view on how the course is set up. There's going to be a free previews there for you uh, to look at how that works. So I hope to see you in class. I know many, many, many of you have been asking and sending emails whether, when, I would set up a class. So here I go. Been working on it for you guys. So listen, I will see you here in December for your next reading though.